Hello and welcome to another JMP video. Hi, I'm your host, Renario, and today I'll be talking about um, Chester Egita the Third and also Animated Joe. It's just going to be a short video just explaining which of the two allies is just going to be better. And in my opinion, which of the two allies is stronger? There's not going to be a lot of spoiler alert like, I'll, I, like I just mentioned in my Bombfest 2021 uh, full event showcase. There isn't a lot of surprises here on which of the two allies is best, but I will be doing some testing here and there before I just get people in the comment section down below just saying, oh no, I've, I'm doing more or less damage with this ally than, you know, the other ally. Uh, you know, that's why I will be doing two testings and that's why I'm just going to mention all of the testing uh, that I've done. Uh, so yeah, anyways, there's going to be a live commentary portion so you can actually just see me just doing this live. Anyways, so... First and foremost, let's start talking about Animated Jug. Uh, let me just get away before I just get deleted. Baba Bowie. Starting off with Animated Jug. Animated Jug is a 75 power rank ally, which has a 300 light tap value, plus 200 bonus percent physical damage. Also going to have a 15% HP lifesteal every time nearby enemy dies. Nearby is going to be within 15 blocks in radius. And also going to be a gain a movement speed boost every time a nearby enemy dies. Also 15 block range, and the movement speed boost is a plus 30 movement speed for 5 seconds with no cooldown. Down. The healing is just going to be on a 0.25 second cooldown or 4 times per second. Uh, which those are going to be everything that you do get with animated jug. With Chester, it's just going to be the following plus 30% bonus physical damage, plus 80 to your base magnifying, plus 10 to your base movement speed. So that's going to be everything that you do get with Chester Egita the third. It doesn't have any extra ability and it's a 20 power rank ally. So Chester Egita the third it does both some very impressive stats, having the highest bonus percentage physical damage uh, out of any ally in the entire game the highest was obviously animated jug little bergy rather berserker with plus 20 now with this one with plus 30 it is currently the highest one now i will be doing two types of testing with both my knight and my neon ninja for a couple of reasons number one is just going to be obviously there's going to be two different stat value uh, with my knight i actually do have higher base physical damage so it means that the result is just going to be much higher because it's a percentage from your base damage rather than just a neon ninja and also would do to the eight thousand light damage cap so for those who don't know in uber 10 if you have eight thousand light or more you will be doing exactly the same damage that's why i have the stats right now on screen my knight has well over eight thousand light with or without animated jug and you're going to see that my stats are going to be 357k into physical damage 1910 into crit damage so i will be just showcasing the damage that i'm doing in terms of coefficient i will be throwing bombs because bombs do one times damage and that's how you're going to check the coefficient that isn't just obviously due to turtle tank so you're going to see that i'm doing roughly okay it just died one shot uh, but no comment <laughs> no comment okay so i am doing roughly around i keep missing my bumps uh i'm doing roughly around seven mil damage coefficient and with my knight in with animated jog equipped that is with every piece of gear available if i remove my hat you're going to see that my stats are equally the same in terms of physical damage and critical damage 357.3k uh, physical damage and 1910.1 crit damage and as you clearly can see i do have 8300 light and i'm doing a clearly can see that i'm doing the exactly the same damage close to 7.1 mil damage i'm not going to recommend anyone to just like, uh, start getting you know no light gems and just getting the highest damage possible gems so they can do more damage because at that point you're already one shotting so it really doesn't even matter if you do have max light or if you do have uh, 8000 light with more damage in general that's what you're going to clearly see with chester obviously since i'm already rocking well over 8000 light i will be doing more damage with chester as you clearly can see right over here i am doing 7.3 mil damage close to 7.4 that's around 300,000 damage increase with chester Egito the third uh to top it all off you also do get a magnifying increase which is plus 80 base oh for those who don't know plus 80 base is just going to be 240 extra magnifying for those who are patron status and with bonus percentage magnifying because uh, just to do a quick math and well not even to do a quick math uh, let me just showcase it first i got 12,939 in in terms of magnifying with animated jug and with chester i do have 13,179 which is you know an increase of 240. the reason is just going to be that 80 base magnifying means that it's just going to be your base so 80 times 2 because of patron that's 160 
160 times 1.5 because of the bonus percentage magify it is going to be 240 you know that's going to be how it is uh, so yeah it, it's pretty nice uh, plus 80 base magifying is quite a lot uh, it's going to be you know a pretty big increase but at the end of the day you're not going to see a, a big increase in just how many flux per hour you're going to get with chester because a couple of reasons uh number one is just going to mean that you will be moving a lot slower because you don't have a movement speed buff and yeah it, it's quite rough because you know having a plus 30 movement speed buff is much better than having a plus 10 base and then to top it all out you do get more survivability and then if we move on into the neon ninja which is even more surprising and it's even more apparent that animated jog is just better you're going to see that i'm rocking animated jog right now and i am currently doing 4.4 mil damage coefficient with bombs but if i do change it into chester egg to the third you're going to see that even with the 10 percent bonus physical damage increase that i do get I'm actually dealing roughly 300,000 damage coefficient less. Even though my Neon Ninja doesn't have the highest base damage uh, in general, but it's not going to matter which of the characters that you're using. If you are below 8,000 light, light is just going to do more damage. I did the same testing with my Knight in Delft and it was exactly the same. I was doing more damage with uh, Animated Jog. Uh, so yeah, light matters more than the you know bonus physical damage that you do get with chester and then if we move on into the last thing it's just going to be chester is just going to be beneficial to those who are just already doing you know full damage uh with animated jug so it players who have light cap in geo topside players who are just doing prime worlds so prime worlds and or light cap are going to do more damage with chester However, uh, players who are just in light cap, it means that they're already one shotting at that point. Because if you're already over 8,000 light, it means that you already have pretty high stats. And you are going to pretty much one shot or two shot enemies and Chester is not going to matter quite a lot. And uh, so, yeah, that, that's the thing with Chester. It only helps out players who are doing low damage, uh, which, you know, for newer players, it might be really good. But for players who are just maxed out in over 10 top side, you're not going to see a massive difference because because obviously you're sacrificing speed in general and survivability just for a little extra damage that is not going to matter because you're already one-shotting and uh, so yeah pretty much for the most part uh, animated is just going to be ultimately better than chester in every sense of the word the only thing that you might see chester be more useful than animated joe is going to be obviously for players who don't use movement speed uh, buffs for players who don't use movement speed equipment those are players who use mounts and, and such and so stuff like that is going to benefit more from chester because you know you will be moving at the same movement speed no matter what but in the case of you know movement speed buff uh, equipment you know movement speed in general which is just going to be you know the most efficient grinding in you know in general it means that you know movement speed is just going to be much more important so it means animated jog is just going to be ultimately better so so yeah that's going to be my final verdict out of the two allies you know i would recommend you to use chester only if you are not doing top side or if you don't have movement speed equipment or a combination of the both and also in, even if you're doing only prime world because on light cap you are already one shotting so yeah just stick to just having better survivability so it means that you can use conjures crucible vial for more damage and for more movement speed purposes rather than just using that defined vial for healing purposes so you can actually just sacrifice that defined vial and just have an animated jug just you know to help you in survivability so that's why i ultimately think uh, which of the two allies is just better uh you know chester is still a pretty good ally considering that it's very easy to obtain you obtain it from egg dungeons just completing those egg dungeons you have a chance of actually getting it it's a tradable ally so it means that even right now which is already one week after the event uh, has started i'm going to assume that the chester is just going to be an extremely cheap ally so if you're a newer player at least get it for yourself and use it if you're using uh, a lot of mounts or if you're doing prime world so chester is just going to do more damage at that point but if you want max efficiency then extra may find that you do gain is not going to ultimately matter because you will be moving a lot slower and also the damage increase is not going to ultimately matter if you have over 8,000 life because you are already one-shotting at that point and if you're not one-shotting it means your ability is doing low damage 
and you know uh, if you're doing low damage chester is not going to be make a massive difference animated jug still better a uh, better ally than chester but if you want to use chester so be it use chester <laughs> i'm not going to sit here and just say that you shouldn't be using chester if you want to use it go ahead and use it but for me personally that i want to be as efficient as possible uh, i will still say animated jug is still better thank you for watching thank you for sticking around as always let me know in the comment section down below if you do like this type of commentary which is more a live commentary rather than just the usual post commentary and just let me know in the comment section down below how do you actually like it uh thank you for watching once again leave a like subscribe if you want to see more content like this and i hope to see you next time take care and keep on hunting see ya